Hi and welcome to the jhudgens.com tech tips channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how to terminate a Comscope CAT6A SLX jack using CAT6A shielded twisted pair cable and terminating to the universal color code scheme 568B with a Comscope SL termination tool. Before we get started, I want to tell you about a company that specializes in almost everything telecom. This company is U.S. Tech. For years, U.S. Tech has been an industry leader in telephone systems, SIP protocol gateways, voice over IP, and UC client. U.S. Tech has a reputation of giving over-the-top tech support, and right now U.S. Tech is giving away free Yaling VoIP phones for every seat that you sign up for. They can even pre-program a system and have it shipped right away while they stay on standby for any reasonable assistance necessary. Is your phone bill too high? Let them drastically reduce your monthly bill using SIP protocol. Just click on the link in the description below to get a free quote and even a callback if needed. That's US Tech, your one-stop shop for everything telecom. They do it all for you. The first thing you want to do is strip off about an inch and a half of the cable shield. Next you want to snip off the foil shield leaving about a quarter inch to fold back. Next you want to snip off the plastic shield if you have one on your cable. And now you want to wrap the drain wire around the shield for grounding purposes. Next you want to snip off and discard the plastic wire separator. And now you're going to separate the wires to the desired jack color scheme found on the sides of the jack. And in today's video, we will use 568B. Now we're going to unpack the rear housing piece of the jack. Go ahead and find the piece in the bag, pull it out, you want to line the colored wires up with the color code on the rear housing. Next you want to insert the prepped cable through rear housing and wiggle it until it snaps down into secure place so the foil contacts the metal housing. Go ahead and untwist the wires and lay the wires as flat as possible in the lacing channels. Double check to make sure color scheme is correct and that the cable pairs match up with the side of the rear housing stickers. Go ahead and locate the key feature of the jack and align it with the rear housing fitting. Note the key feature will only fit one way. Go ahead and insert the pre-assembled jack into the SL tool and clamp down. Go ahead and discard the cut piece. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to get more helpful videos in the future.